Well, hello there everybody, family and friends. Welcome to my kitchen again. Sandy here uh, with another recipe from my recipe box to share with you today. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just here sauteing some uh, vegetables for what we'll be making today, which is shrimp pie. It's an appetizer that's been in my recipe box since 2000. I got it from a friend of mine that worked with me at Alpha Wire Company years ago. I think I was at Alpha for 18 years in total, so it's nice to have uh, a recipe that brings back uh, the memories of when I was working there and all the people I met and worked with for so long. But uh, shrimp pie is a lot of fun. Um, in my uh, saute pan here, I have half a cup of onion chopped and a half a cup of peppers. You can use any kind of onion or any kind of peppers you like. You can substitute the peppers for uh, any kind of other vegetable. If you feel like using broccoli, you have something you need to use up from your refrigerator, carrots, uh, whatever, you can feel free to uh, change up the vegetable mixture just as long as you keep the onions as a base. They're, they're uh, really good in this um, shrimp pie. Uh, so they are already sauteed. And the next thing we're gonna wanna add is um, some garlic, two cloves, two medium cloves. Um, if you like less garlic, by all means, put less. Don't put it in all if you don't like it. Um, and if you like more, you can you know, even add a, a little more if you like. Um, totally up to you on the garlic. But let it saute a little bit um, with the rest of the vegetables. And while that is happening, I'll talk about the uh, shrimp. This is three quarters of a cup of chopped, uh, freshly cooked shrimp. I cook my shrimp um, in a crab boil. I cook it myself. So this is the crab boil. I'll uh, put information about it um, at the end of the video for you, um, just for reference. But it's just herbs. It's got mustard seed, coriander, allspice, dill, cloves, red pepper, and bay leaves is what's in here. Put it in some water, boil the shrimp with that for three minutes or so for large shrimp. Take them out drain them, let them cool off, chop them up. Of course, you can buy, you know, pre-cooked shrimp and save yourself that step. They'll taste a little different. They won't have the flavors of all those spices that'll go into the pie, but they'll be just as good, I'm sure. So the garlic is starting to smell really good. And now we're gonna add some uh, dried herbs. Here I have dried parsley and dried thyme. I think the, the recipe calls for oregano, dried oregano. I'm using thyme today just because I feel like it. You could, of course, use fresh veg, uh, fresh spices if you want, fresh herbs. Um, but today we're gonna, it's winter, so we're gonna go with the dry. And just get them in for a few minutes so they get a little bit uh, toasty and mixed in nicely with the vegetables. And then of course, we have to add a little bit of salt. I just use kosher salt. Don't go too heavy with the salt. And a little bit of pepper. Give it some seasoning veggies and uh, mix that up okay so uh, we have to then consider okay this is a pie so what do we need I use Pillsbury pie crusts the red box find it over in the dairy section of your supermarket there are usually two uh, rolled pie crusts in a box if you want to double this recipe and make two uh, shrimp pies at one time you can certainly do that um, I'm only making one today, um, so you know if your crowd's bigger and you and you need more. Um, I have uh, just uh, greased a cookie sheet with a piece of aluminum foil on it, and I've rolled out the one piece of pie crust here onto that cookie sheet, and that's what's going to take this mixture when it's done. So that's here and ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is add the shrimp. We're not cooking the shrimp at all. We're simply mixing the shrimp in with the vegetables, what we've got in the pan so far, and letting them incorporate, and everything mixed together really nicely. Um, so again, we don't need to cook the shrimp, just mix them in and I'll bring it a little closer here so you can see it. Um, all right, so they're all mixed together and then we're ready for the next step, which is simply turning the burner off. And we're going to um, wait a second or two 
take it off the heat if you want, um, just so that it slows down a little bit. Because what you don't want to happen is you don't want the um, cheese to burn. Um, but, you know, you just let everything cool off of it. And then we're going to stir in the cheese. So what I have here is pre-shredded. If you want to buy a nicer cheese um, and shred it yourself, that's great. Do not use uh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, that will melt really quickly and be far too stringy. Uh, I have here um, two types of cheddar, a white and a, and a yellow cheddar. You could use a Mexican blend, a four cheese blend. You could use Monterey Jack and cheddar, whatever cheeses that you like that um, are pre-shredded and, and melt fairly nicely, but don't get overly stringy. So um, just keep that in mind when you're choosing your cheese. A cup to a cup and a half, this is about a cup of, and a quarter of cheese, is um, what I would start with. And uh, again, it's one of those things if you like a little bit more cheese and you want it a little bit more cheesy or a little less cheesy, you can go either way with this. Um, but you basically just put the cheese in there and you can hear it stop making a noise. So it's not cooking, but it sure is hot. And if you mix that cheese with the veggies and the shrimp, as you can see here, I think, yeah, um, you uh, will start to see that the cheese is gonna melt um, and create a nice sort of a shrimp veggie paste, I guess, if you will. Um, the recipe calls it shrimp pie. I guess you could also call it a, a tart or maybe even a crostini. I know Bobby Flay does something like this, but he does it with fruit. And I think he calls it a crostini. Um, and I'll show you why when we put it onto the um, pie crust. Um, but you're making it on pie crust, so why not call it a shrimp pie? Just a pie that doesn't have a top. All right, so you can see the cheese is nicely mixed. And with the veggies, there's a lot of cheese here, so just make sure everything's nice and incorporated. It doesn't wholly melt every single shred of cheese. It doesn't really matter. Um, red peppers are nice in this because you can see them uh, nicely you know, in the, in the mix. I didn't have any red peppers today, so I used what I had, which was a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green. But I think I like the red better. Anyway, okay, so now we pull over our pie crust. And what we're gonna do is we're going to place the cheesy shrimp mixture in the middle of the pie crust. it toward the center, or lay it all in the center. Okay, and then we are going to spread this out and we're gonna leave a one inch rim of pie crust all around the pie. So you're only gonna push it out so far. You know, push it out to the end. So you're gonna make a circle with it, but again, you're gonna only go out and leave about a one inch rim of dough, pie crust, around the outside of the pie. So just push it, you know, a little nice, nice and easy slide where it wants to go. Just try to make sure that it's, you know, kind of even layer of uh, the shrimp and the cheeses and the veggies, like that. All right, so once you have that in place, your mixture, again, you wanna do this with chicken, that would work. Any other kind of protein that you might like, right? Very, very flexible recipe, um, this shrimp pie. Okay, so that's done. And then we're just simply going to crimp the dough. So you're just gonna pull an end, pull it over that one inch, crimp it, pull it over. And you'll see it'll make a natural crimp. 
right, pull it over. Right where that natural crimp would lie. And this is kind of why I say sometimes you'll see these done with fruit tarts as well, with a real similar uh, crimp. Um, I do not, and the recipe does not call for having to um, put any wash on the dough. Uh, sometimes people put an egg wash, just simply beat up an egg and then brush it. I think there's a lot of um, natural moisture in the cheeses and what's in here for this recipe, so I don't think it necessarily needs anything on the outside um, in order for it to cook up nice and golden brown. Um, so basically, that's it. You preheat your oven for 375. You put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Again, your oven may be run a little hotter than, you know, mine. You may want to do, you know, take a look at it after 20 minutes and uh, make sure that you're not overcooking it. Um, at this point, if you don't want to cook it right away, simply put it in the fridge or in a really cool place and let it sit until you're ready to bake it off and uh, put it in, you know, closer to when your guests are coming or, or when you're, you know, when you're ready to, uh, to eat it. So, um, that's it. I will uh, put uh, some pictures of it when it, as it comes out of the oven for you to see how it looks and uh, and uh, we'll go from there. I hope you enjoy shrimp pie. I hope you make it for your family or for yourself um, and, and have a good time with it. It's a really great recipe um, that uh, I enjoy making. Talk to you next time. Everybody, thanks.